This video is brought to you by Asub12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Uh, each of these, so if the name is country and you, uh, you're up for having, let's say you're up for having junk mail spammed into your, your um, inbox in which this is going to be sent to, let's say if it's being sent by email, then you could say default select England, uh, maybe just because you don't mind having spam, or because most of your, let's say you're doing it for a shoe shop, most of your customers are English or something, um, and most of your customers, like on a survey, you've found out most of your customers like green, so you can say, uh, there's an attribute, I've forgotten the name, uh, this value will be selected, uh, you'll have to look that up though. I'm sure you'll be able to find it if you just do a search of an input tag. Um, I don't want to do that because I don't want to have to delay this tutorial. And um, Okay, so we're on the second to last input tag. Input type equals reset. Okay, and uh, it's a bit silly. A lot of people say it's silly having this... Um, having this reset button because what it does is it resets everything so you fill it out okay so my first name is sorry Chris my desired password is hi uh, my favorite color is red I live in Wales oh, oh no wait sorry I live in England why would anyone press reset when they can just go back and click England so uh, this reset ta this reset button sorry is a bit uh, useless and no one really uses it but if you fancy it you can use it um, and the final one of course is uh, well not of course actually it's not very obvious just put a couple of line breaks in here uh, the final one would be input type equals button okay and um, Ooh, if you've watched any of my JavaScript tutorials, I think I brought up calling a function with a button, uh, and I was, I I've been really wanting to do a tutorial on that, but I thought, okay, I've got to do this uh, this form tutorial before I do that, so everyone knows how to use forms. So I'm doing this now, and I'm showing you. You can use this button, and of course you have to use the uh, on click uh, event handler. On click, you can call the function uh, alert underscore function and that will uh, automatically call and alert every time you click it so um, this button is it's useful certainly um, in some cases in other cases it's pretty useless uh, you don't, I mean one thing you would use it for just coming back to logins here is once you fill out all your information you would click the um they'd probably make a custom button which would check back into the database see see if uh, all the information is there if it's not there it will say it will return a value of false again and it will say sorry you've uh, input the correct incorrect password or username or something and if it is there it will say okay that's good and it will log you in because it returns a true value so um buttons can come in handy and they can be perfectly useless. Um, anyway, I hope this has uh, given you an idea of how you can use forms. Um, you're probably wondering how can I? Uh, s is there any way I can make a uh, s something that will send these forms via email? And um, uh, as far as I know, the easiest way is in PHP. I uh, I looked up because uh, I know a, a tiny bit of PHP myself. And um, I've looked up how to do this, and when I attempted it, it said because uh, I was doing a vi I was watching video tutorials as well. It said I required a value, and the uh, guy who was doing the tutorial hadn't mentioned what you do with that value, so uh, I was uh, not able to carry that out. But uh, in my short time using FreeWebs as a web hoster, I found out they do provide a um, they provide a uh, an emailing. Uh, JavaScript script which uh, sends sends your um, forms to the email uh, on which you registered your FreeWebs account so uh, 
if you're looking for a free form sender, just sign up for a, a free webs account, I suggest. And using the email you want all your forms to be sent to, and uh, you say you want to customly build your site, and you should be able to find a form sender. Otherwise, I'm sure there are tons of form senders out there you can find. Um, I will be looking into ha how I can make one in JavaScript and how I can uh, complete the PHP one because uh, it's extremely simple code with the PHP one and it's very unfortunate it doesn't work. So uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. As I said, I wanted to uh, do a tutorial on using the buttons to call functions and uh, that will be in the functions JavaScript tutorial. So uh, uh, look out for that one. Anyway, this has been a tutorial by us of 12 over and out.